Hello everyone, welcome back. In my previous game, I was playing the, for two games ago the black pieces against GM Bobans, and uh, I'd like to demonstrate something that happened. Yes, so in this position he played castle and allowed me to get the Marozzi bind with e5 followed by bishop e6 in a convenient position and after knight g5 takes knight e5 queen d8 black uh, in my opinion was slightly better and I was slowly pressing him and uh, I got uh, some edge throughout the first uh, half of the game and uh, there is something I mentioned and didn't have time to demonstrate during the game in this position Server announcement. He played after knight c6, move knight c3. I wouldn't have time for e5. I would be obliged to play knight c7 and get a less convenient version of this uh, line. And this is considered to be the main line in this opening. Because if I play uh, e5, then uh, he has some uh, nice tactical shot. So feel free to pause the video and, uh, and think uh, on your own what is the tactical shot. Once the game starts, I will uh, reveal the solution. And uh, also mention that in this game I'll make an experiment. I'll play as I play normally, without uh, talking uh, so much, and see if it affects my performance uh, heavily, or if uh, I, I can uh, keep on talking and, and afford to do it without uh, risking so much of my level. I am sure I'll be much stronger and much more accustomed to talking and playing at the same time, but for now it just feels like I'm wasting a lot of my focus and energy on the talking part and I play too slow and I'm not playing my best chess. So in this game I'll try to Survey play started. faster. So I'll take the first 10 seconds as usual. I am Peter Griffin. I think I know who he is. Anyway, uh, yeah, 10 seconds. Now I'll play normally. Let's see what happens. So we have a reversed King's Indian with e takes b5. Mm. Generally speaking, I like uh, the exposition in this structure I have more space Go e6 b5 is my next move probably and uh, one of my ideas is to play c4 at some point not sure if I would like that immediately, also b4 is an idea. I'm going to b6 also. The idea is c4 on the next move. And yeah, now he's running g5. Let's try c4. I think I'm faster. That should be better. And as you can see now that I didn't uh, spend a lot of energies on talking. The time situation is uh, quite manageable. If I take, he can take on c6. It's not ideal. But bishop d5 looks good. Yeah. Actually, if he takes, I can take both with the queen or with the knight. I'm not sure. I feel like black should be better here. My immediate idea is to take on d5, d4, and uh, I'm uh, 
but are developed at the moment and have more space. Let's see what he thinks who it is. Alejandro Alvarado, international master. I'm not sure where he's from. Usually there's a flag over here. He's taking his time to think. I wonder if he's also commenting, doing some commentary while playing, or if he just tries to solve the, the problems. I would consider bishop e3 if I were right, just to avoid uh, doubling the pawns. And then I'm not sure uh, what's my best response. Check. Okay, queen takes. Hmm. So he's following my advice. And there are several ideas. One of the ideas that I like is just to take on d4. Hmm. b6 is hanging, so maybe also knight a4 is interesting. Attacking this pawn. Now I should find some follow up. I'm not sure exactly how to exploit my uh, space advantage. Let's try a5. Preparing some D for future B4, and uh, usually in 3 plus O, the time is what determines uh, the direction of the game more than the objective value of the position. <coughs> so, as long as I maintain some healthy pace, Check. the position should be quite good. B2 is hanging now, and um, B3 is probably one of my threats. Knight takes B2 also. If yeah, now C B4, Knight D3 looks like an idea. I think I like it. Let's try it. Also, I have Bishop takes B4, intermediate move. Knight D3 or Bishop B4. Let's go Knight D3. I want to take with the pawn. Oh, but now he wants Knight takes B4, but I have some tactic at the end. Rook takes D4, and I'm winning. Okay. Seems like a good game. Right. Resign. So let's quickly go over the game. So in the opening, this is uh, one of my main lines. Usually, white plays c4, just like I demonstrated at the beginning of the video, and knight c3 before castles, and um, e5, d3. The solution, by the way, to the problem, the tactical problem, was knight takes e5. Feel free to check the variations. The, the line that I demonstrated before the, the beginning of the game. And uh, here, normally speaking, he got a King's Indian with a tempo up, but uh, in this position, I, I should still have an edge thanks to my uh, space advantage and the fact that he doesn't have any concrete ideas. And uh, yeah, this position I think I played quite uh, logically. And uh, thankfully, I, I finally played faster than my opponent, Check. and I was able to maintain the pressure Check. and gradually improve my position until he collapsed. Here, Check. Black has a slight edge, and after he made this knight e3, this, this mistake, followed by a blunder, um, this knight x 4 is a blunder, I think uh, white was uh, just lost. But it was very difficult anyway to find a move for him. When I'm playing fast, and uh, in the logical moves, it's putting uh, both uh, objective and psychological uh, pressure on my opponent. So, I think um, uh, we've looked at this game enough. And uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And, uh, and if you want to learn some more, keep watching the next videos.